So today I'm going to be showing you how to upload multi-layer images into Design Space as well as using Offset to create a background border to really make your design pop. So let's get started. First of all, I'm creating a t-shirt here and I just want to show you a little tip. By using templates, it's really helpful for placement and alignment and knowing what size you want to create your um, vinyl or iron-on. And I'm just going to go ahead over into the bottom right of the screen over here and show you that you can actually change the color of your template. Even though the template is not cut, it is just helps you for placement and for visual. Say you had a, a blue shirt that you were going to put it onto or a pink shirt. You can go ahead in the top here and click into whatever other closest color or even click into advanced and get more specific of a color that you are going to be using. So for me, I had a black t-shirt that I created this design with and once I put that on there I realized that the original logo that I needed had a dark green edging on it which did not really show up very well next to the black t-shirt so that's where I decided to use offset so I'm gonna go ahead and show you simply to upload an image go wherever you find it wherever you have it wherever you purchased it wherever you found your your image that's multi layers go ahead and browse and upload it to your design space through upload then you're going to click complex you're going to click continue and if we just went ahead and said apply and continue and we wanted to cut that image you can see it's just a big blob so we're going to go back and what we're going to do is we're going to save this in multiple images. So if you have, this one has two layers. If you have one that has four layers, you're going to do the same process. You're going to have four separate images. Mine will have two. You're going to go down and make sure that the click on areas of image that you want to remove is selected, which is this little like magic wand right here. And you're going to go ahead and click into one of the spaces and you're going to hit apply and it's going to save that little inner image there. I'm going to select cut image and then I'm going to upload it. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to upload another image multi-layer that I want to create. We're going to also click complex and same except we're going to save or get rid of the other part. So now we're going to click on the yellow. We're going to save the green, hit apply and continue and you're gonna make sure you select cut image and then you're gonna upload it. We're gonna select both these images and we're gonna add them to our canvas. Okay, I'm gonna shrink these down just a little bit. I already have my, my C's, my logos ready for my particular project. So I'm gonna leave these <clears throat> a little bigger for tutorial purposes. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select on the different colors. This part is actually going to be green and then that inner C is yellow. So I'm going to select on the inner C, hit material colors, and there you have it. And as I said, I'm putting this on a black background, so I wanted to make it pop. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and select over the image. You're going to click on the offset at the top middle leftish. I want rounded corners. I like where it's at the 0.25. If you see, it's got that just thin little border of white that's gonna make it stand out from the black t-shirt that I'm applying this to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click apply. However, if you wanted a bigger border, you could move this up and down and make it bigger. I'm gonna click apply and I'm going to go up top and I'm going to change it to white. That is what I want. That's going to help it stand out for me. So as you can see, we've got the three separate layers that will cut 
the image that I'm going to put on my t-shirt. So as you can see, this ended up turning out just great. Uploaded the multi-layer images in Design Space and used Offset to create this white border to make it stand out in front of the black t-shirt. So worked great for me. I hope this video was beneficial to you. If so, make sure you give it a like and hit subscribe if you want to stay tuned for future tutorials. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great rest of your day.